was having a moment of weakness before I loaded up Sonic on the Genesis on the Game Boy Advance. It's like, is it worth it? Hello, I am debating food slash like do I go to 7-Eleven and then just get a big bag of chips. It's tempting, but I think Ring would be mad at me. It'd be like... Your snack food addiction so shiny and beautiful! Apparently there's like a feminine voice option for Ring in the options that I didn't actually find. I'm kind of curious about that one. I'm sure it's... Mm, I wonder if it has the same voice lines. Why is this game so laggy? Because it's... crap. It's infamously garbage. Uh, like, technical answer, they retrofitted Sonic 1 into the Sonic Advance engine really poorly, and it doesn't run very well. Uh, I don't know why it doesn't run that well, but... You know... Video ga- ooh. Didn't work. Video games... Why did Sonic just get- Lower on that platform. Ugh. I'm not going to Twitch chat. Wait, what is the info channel? Oh, wait, my chat's too small. I know asking Twitch chat about good decisions to make is probably counterproductive, but. Do I go to 7 Eleven, eat bad snacks? I'm hungry. Or not. Uber eats the 7-Eleven bad snack. Ooh, that's a good idea. I didn't think about that. I don't know what I want then. I mean, it would just be like, Hey, you ate a bunch of bags of potato chips. God, that's really pathetic if it's... Oh, it doesn't even show up as an option. I think it might do it on DoorDash, not Uber Eats. It's kind of pathetic that they call them, like, convenience stores, and I've decided it is too inconvenient to just, like, walk to the goddamn place. Game Boy Advance Sonic 1, because... You know... curious what Sonic would be like without the blast processing, the answer is not great. And ah, chips would be good though, wouldn't they? I might have napped from like 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock, so oops, aren't I very thin? Ah, uh, no. figure is not meant to be taken literally. We... uh, 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 okay. That control's great. Oh, I hope there's level over here. There is. Oh. Uh. Wow, this sucks. Oh my god, Sonic, 
please. What are you doing? Thank you. Sonic, yeah. So the problem is I napped and now it's just, well, I'm hungry and maybe I'll sleep better if I have a stomach full of carbs. Oh yeah, it is the definitive version. Uh, it's widescreen. Uh, they have a mode where they added the spin dash. Uh, you can play it on the toilet and if you drop it in there, no one will be like... Worried. I feel like they lost out at all. God damn it. This music doesn't sound like Sonic. It sounds like Sonic to me! Wow, are these flak files? Oh, it sounds so lossless. Wow, it's like I'm listening to. I don't know who did the music for this. I forget. Like Dreams Come True or something? iOS Sonic one I thought was good, right? Wasn't that like one of the things made by the Sonic Mania guy? God damn, man. Wow. I like how I was just smacking against the wall and then Sonic's like, yeah, what if I just keep going forward? Oops. the picture of me in the anime pride dress from Twitter. That was a good one. I like that one. Ring would understand. Ring doesn't have- oh wait, no, Ring does have a mouth. I was gonna say, like, Ring doesn't even eat food, but no, he does talk, so I guess he has a mouth. Doesn't have a s- well, he might have a stomach. It might just be like... Instead of his intestines being all tied up, he just has like one big circular intestine. Like the plasmid of intestines. We... <laughs> Did you get the point there? Where it like... Stuttered... It's like a sonic stop- nope, no, he's full speed again, okay. I don't know why that platform clips into the wall, unless they thought it was supposed to be like an elevator. Look at them all just shake! <laughs> iOS finally supports Xbox and PlayStation controllers. Man, so I've been using Android for a long time. Um, Longish, I guess. Like 20... 2012 sounds right. Um... Maybe 2011. But like, I think I'm sick of it at this point. I'm just tired of stuff being weirdly broken, and I don't know if it's gonna be the same on iOS. Like, Chrome on Android, at least on the OnePlus phone that I have, is... I don't know what happened, but it just does not work sometimes. Like, every five minutes of browsing is then punctuated with just the web page freezing for however long it decides to freeze, and then sometimes I just have to keep going into automatically... or not automatically, but I have to go and force quit the app, because sometimes just removing it from the recents isn't enough, and it's just... Ugh. It's so irritating! 
And also, like, I'm assuming, like, the WebView stuff that drives Chrome is also driving all the other stuff that has, like, an embedded browser. And then sometimes that just hitches and locks up for multiple seconds. You know, like, you'll just be scrolling, and then it's just, okay, no more scrolling. Yeah, but it's kind of irritating. Wow, okay, he has a very specific... Wait, what? Oh, he doesn't actually drop these on all the things. He just drops them on the same one every time, and also you could just reach this. Um... But the other thing is that, like, oh, the OnePlus 7 Pro or whatever supports, you know, 90 hertz screen refresh rates, and that's nice. And now Chrome does, but not all other browsers do. And, you know, I, I'm just... I'm tired. <laughs> I'm old. Android was fun when I first got it, where it's like, I'm gonna root it and put all these cyanogen mod things on it, and it's gonna be great and super custom, and now it's just like... I just want to browse the internet and not have it get stuck. Or have, like, the YouTube app somehow full screen to the point where then it prevents the home button or the back button from loading, and for some reason when it then does that, I can't actually touch the video and pause it or play it or anything anymore, so then that has to go through the force quit thing again to make it quit, and then... I don't know. It, it seems like with the latest iOS update, they're going to be pretty much putting in all the stuff I wanted from it anyway. So I think I might just do that at that point. Wow, this runs so slowly. What? Okay. I don't know what happened there. But, fine. That's cool. Scrap brain. At least... They made exactly enough space to fit that, and literally no more space. Mm, I'm still tempted to go to 7-Eleven and get food that I'll regret. God, like, look at how few frames that has when it's rotating. It's like... Two? No. I think there's a diagonal, right? Yeah, like three frames, which, like the Genesis one, went way smoother than that. A lot of things in this port are just like missing random frames of animation. Or like when you break a block, it only breaks into four identical square pieces instead of however many it used to. Oh my god, look at that scrolling. I don't even like Scrap Brain Zone, like, on the Genesis. It is definitely the low point of this game. Oh my god, move your worm butt, I have to go forward. Thank you. Go to 7-Eleven and get a pizza. No, see, they don't have good pizza. I just end up getting DiGiorno's and then putting it in the oven and then eating it and then realizing like, oh, okay, the crust is made of knives now. There goes the top of my mouth. Oh my god! <laughs> this is so slow. <laughs> oh, it's been like 1 minute 20 forever. What? What the puff? What the hell is that? No, that's fine, I won't stand on that one, then. Da, da, 
the, the... Oh my god, look at the timer. <laughs> there, that didn't break. I did it. Uh, they weren't all female characters. Link was a guy. Fool. Take that. The faster you move, the slower the timer is. God, probably. Up, 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 up. Made it. Oh, wow. Okay. Um... Those are all supposed to rotate in sync. So... Uh... I don't know why that other platform just keeps disappearing, but let's see. Okay, so... That falls. Oh. We're not going there. <sighs> oh, wait. I think the part that I fell from is up there. So maybe I don't have to do it again. I feel like the stage select an instant checkpoints. I don't think the instant checkpoints thing is a feature. I think it's just... Bad game to... Okay. What? Oh god. This sucks so much, and I can't like... You can't pick between... Like, anniversary and original and have it... Just... Save your progress. Oh no, I can. I can play Anniversary Mode, which is the same, except you can Spin Dash. Oh, but it's the Spin Dash from Sonic CD, where it doesn't charge up, it's just one layer and not very fast. Okay. Wow, that's very useful. Is there a peel out? No. Wait. What? What? Wait, why does he... How did nobody check that if you press the up button, he doesn't just, like, lift off the floor? Nothing about this feels like it's connected to anything else. Oh, let's go, Sonic, please. Da, 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 da. Oh, they made a bunch of ports of Mobile Sonic. I think there were at least... Well, there was at least one, I think, for Java phones, and then they had an original iPhone version, which wasn't great, and then they replaced it with a better iPhone version. Then they had the version on the iPod for, like, 5th gen with video or whatever that one's officially called. Um... I'm trying to think if there were any other official ones of this game, specifically. No, the N-Gage game was a port of Sonic Advance. That was Sonic N. It's Sonic N, except you have, like, a portrait mode screen, which is great, because Sonic's all about going fast in the vertical axis. Is all anniversary mode is is just like, hey, you have the spin dash in Sonic 1? Like, the level design is the same. Wow, that looks... bad. Okay. No, that's... very cool. 
God, that's a really obnoxious part in the original version, let alone this, where it- Look at the frame rate! Look at the timer! It's not even moving! <laughs> oh well, that's that's ten sprites on the sp or on the screen. We can't do that. That's too many. Oh, there. Wow. Do you think there's a checkpoint? Wait, that's supposed to animate. Did they not? Did they not have the animation? Did they just make it immediately open and that's it? Wow, that looks cheap. Like, that doesn't register as a door opening, that's just like, the draw distance isn't working. This is the Game Boy Advance port, because... I, I love Sonic, and I love good games. And I thought, you know... Why not do both? Oh, good! Now we get the obnoxious third act, which already did not run fast on real hardware, so this will be a treat. Oh wait, no, sorry, that's only act two. I lied. Or only act one. Oh, oh, that is weirdly too fast, like immediately. How fast does he go? I think he's getting faster. Can't tell. Let's see. Uh, no, it's about the same. Uh, actually. Yeah, I don't think it's getting that much better. Whoop! Wow, that's it. <laughs> like, zero momentum. Oh, god, okay. Wow, it just lose you to that. You don't even have to, like, jump in at any angle. You can just jump in from the bottom and it's, like... There you go. Magnets. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, main channel at some point. I don't know what I'm doing. We had a lab meeting where we decided what we're going to do for this experiment to proceed, and then after the lab meeting, they then decided, what if we didn't do any of that? And then my boss is like, well, what if we do this and then make it take, like, four times as long? And then, like, somehow in the span of a few hours, we like, have now no idea what we're doing for the next step of the project, except all we know is, like, whatever we pick is just going to end up being redone at some point. In terms of, like, you know, maybe that's not the best way, let's do it this way, and then at some point we're never actually gonna get it done. Because you're just reinventing the wheel. <laughs> this does not run right. that might be worth a PhD. Uh, no. Based on what I do, I'd probably be better at building a better mousetrap. If we're going by- What the hell is that? Oh, hello! If we're going by cliches. So the saw blades were in the Genesis version, but they don't just, like, appear out of nowhere. Damn it, man. Just give me the rings. Thank you. I like how they put a lot of effort into centering the sign po- oh, wait. <laughs> it should be playing... music. It should be playing final boss music. 
and it should automatically be advancing me toward the right edge of the Oh my god, the frame rate. Ha 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 ha. That's fine, we don't need sound. Don't worry, I can just pretend. What? Huh? What did I... Did the enemy kill me? At least you're not gonna know if the game's running slowly because of the frame rate or because of an underwater section. Oh wait, I can make it spin that. Oh, ooh, mm. it's real dicey. Why does he just go forward? I'm not even pressing anything. But, but, like the walls don't cancel your air momentum. So if you just go full speed into a wall and then drop a little bit, you'll just keep going full speed. Mickey Mouse farting. Whatever that sound is. Awful. Cool. I don't know why I take damage before they're even out of the thing. Okay, bye. by everything, that's okay. <laughs> this just looks so janky. <laughs> uh, I'm doing this in lieu, mostly, of, uh... Okay, random background flash. In lieu of, uh, going to 7-Eleven and eating... Hot chip and lie. Or whatever. Oh, it's not going great. I mean, I guess it's midnight, I don't really need a bag of chips. I've been doing all that ring fit, so ideally it would have, uh. inspired me toward a healthier. God damn it, habits! Healthier goddamn habits. Are there rings here? No, I'm gonna have to do this whole bit without rings, aren't I? Oh, wait. What? Oh. Oh. Why is the V so red? Wow, that sounds... really drunk. <laughs> This car just can't get started. God, I love how the only options are just... Yeah, we know the sound is bad. Do you want it off? Oh god, I have to do it again! Why? Ah! What am I even? <sighs> You'll get there eventually, Sonic. Yay. Yeah, tight platforming. Variable frame rate. Incredibly tiny screen. These are the ingredients used to make the perfect video game. But Professor Sonic the Hedgehog accidentally added a secret ingredient into the concoction. Chemical Advance. 
Did no one check, like, every time it spits you down, it does this, and maybe they should have, like, noticed? Because this is, like, a mandatory part of this level, and... Like, none of that looks right. Like, the Sonic 2 beta handles tubes like that better, and it doesn't even do anything when Sonic is in them. You know, he just doesn't clip into the ground, which I guess is like the bare minimum you would want. Also, I don't know why he has all these light blue dots on him. I don't think he had that in the Genesis one. Like, is that just bad dithering? Or... I don't know. Oh, great, cool, because... That wouldn't even be that hard, but because they have a spring there, I think, or maybe I just spin dashed into it like an idiot, but regardless... Like, you hit a wall and you think, oh, okay, that's fine. Now I'll do the platforming part, but because it doesn't cancel your momentum, you just fly directly into that with no way to stop yourself, and then you're dead. Because, you know, video games. How many copies did this even sell? Is this like Sonic 06, where it's a bad game, but it sold a bajillion copies anyway? Or is it just, like, legitimately unloved? Oh. Came embarrassingly close to buying this. Well... <sighs> That's okay! As long as you didn't. Just, I hope it was a learning experience. Wow. Frames. Oh. Did that entire- okay. That entire platform just despawned. That's fine. I guess we have to hope it doesn't despawn again. Arbitrarily. I will say, it probably looks very convincing in just static screenshots. <laughs> in the same way that, like, an oil painting looks good, because they're probably churned out at roughly the same frame rate. Cool. Nintendo. <laughs> Does the seal of quality mean nothing anymore? How could you do this? How can she scrap? this until I got tired and then I can go to sleep without having to eat more food. This is not making me want to keep playing this. Why? Because... I love Sonic. I love the Game Boy Advance. I love single digit frame rates. And I love unpredictability, because you never know when it's just gonna break on you arbitrarily, so you know. 
It's like a director's cut. If your director is on like a bunch of bath salts. What I'm saying is it's Uwe Boll Sonic the Hedgehog game. at some point it will be beaten and then I won't have to have that morbid curiosity about how much this sucks anymore. God damn it! <laughs> Look at the frame rate! Look at the timer! It's been 110 forever! The shield's not even centered on the sprite! Okay, don't bonk that thing. There you go. Did anyone find sales data for this? Is this just a game that everybody bought despite the fact it's crap? I was gonna say, have people been rewarding Sega for mediocrity, but then I realized, like, oh wait, yes, actually. I didn't think I could dislike Scrap Brain Zone more, but, you know, it happened. Okay. Very normal. Are there rings down here? I don't know. No. Oh, yes. Also a very farty motorcycle. Also, the sound I make when I'm playing Sonic Genesis on the Game Boy Advance. The official soundtrack. I still just can't get over the fact that, like... Oh, on, on slopes it works, he doesn't move. But on... Oh, wait. Before he pressed down, he moved up, and now he doesn't. Is that just on certain platforms? Like... Huh. Oh, it was up, not down! That's right. That's right, that's right. Where it just... Jiggles around. Like a really bad frame-by-frame -frame flash animation. It's really weird that after all these years, I think the best handheld port of Sonic is still just playing the original one on a Nomad. I mean, or I guess like an Android thing with the controller. I can't believe the game just does this. It doesn't automatically advance you, it doesn't play the music, it doesn't anything, it's just... this, and the timer stops, and... you just go, and I guess I should be lucky that the platform didn't immediately fall apart because of the sprite limit. Like all the other things that just have randomly been disappearing in this level. Yeah. 
only holding down. Maybe it's explained in the instruction manual. Like, Dr. Robotnik has a new devious trick. Oh god, remember that old Let's Play? That old Retsupray thing with, like, Mario's time machine? Or maybe it was, like, a chip cheese video, I don't remember. Where... Um... It wasn't the game Mario's time machine, but, like... Every time the guy would use a save state, he would be like, And Mario's traveling back in time! And he was very British. Oh no, wait, it was Mario 64! That's what it was. That playthrough. That's the one! Electrical Beast, yeah, the Jolteon of Let's Plays. Cool! Anyway, if they just said, like, somewhere in the instruction manual, like, oh, Robotnik has a devious new trick, uh, control over time itself, and will arbitrarily use it to distract Sonic in his quest, then, like, yeah, I am all on board for this version of Sonic, but I'm pretty sure it's not in there. Do the push-up thing. Okay, one sec. Boop, 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 boop. It just shifts his sprite up by, like, a pixel. It's not all that exciting, but... It just seems, like, egregiously obvious that somebody should have caught that. But it's like somebody tried to make an animated GIF of Sonic or something, and they just didn't align the sprites right between frames, and it's just super cheap. When did this come out? Wait, this is his 15th anniversary, so that's 2006. Uh, 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 oh, okay. Like, this whole thing is an unforced error. It didn't even have to come out on the Game Boy Advance, or, like, at all. God, almost 2007! Jesus. Yeah, this and Sonic 06 were the 15th anniversary. So, like... It's just getting the worst Kintsumiyaru he could possibly ever have. Oh my god, just give me air, please. Jesus Christ, Sonic! Use your, like, two frames of animation. Thank you. Okay, I think this is the end. Oh, God! <laughs> what? Okay! That's blast processing. So the momentum when you're coming out of the water is, like, super screwed up. Uh, it does this with, uh, with, um, springs as well. So you're kind of going normal speed and then you come out of the water and it's way faster. I guess it's also the same with your horizontal momentum. So you build up speed underwater and then you get out and it's like, oh, and then you miss the jump like an idiot. Nope. Can't time that anymore. Doing real great. We um, um, never be able to replicate that first time. Never ever. I don't even remember like Act Three being the most annoying act of Scrap Brain Zone. 
A lot of those, like, instant death conveyor belt things are irritating. Why is that a different color? Did they not put the underwater palette on it, or is it just supposed to look like that? Oh my god. I just have to get air, but the frame rate is good. Ah! Great. Is this at the end? I think it is. What? Oh, okay. Uh... What, what sound? Which of the myriad sounds in this game are the ones you don't like? Oh yes, the Mickey Mouse fart sound, yeah. Well, that's what everyone sounds like when they breathe, right? What the hell, game? Oh my god, just let me up there! Can I... can I have those rings? Maybe? Probably not. Oh, okay. One. Sonic game, you don't really need more than that. Cool. Wow, this is... misery. If only I had two rings, this would not have happened. This looks excruciating. Well, what do you mean? What, what part of the... Point out the bad part, please. I swear to god, if you drop that guy on me again. I always liked how this area just had so many additional springs that, like, you won't even be able to hit. Uh, Sonic, you can... there you go. Final... zone. Oh, that sounds really bad. This also doesn't animate. Oh, you can't even see the one at the top! What is- what? what? Okay, well the sound is missing. This goes way slower. Those things home on you way faster. Also, why does Robotnik look like that? Or maybe he looks normal and I just saw it weirdly, but... Hang on. We will find out. Maybe it's the same and I just didn't notice. Yeah! Music. You can't see the top, so that's a good start. Oh, this is gonna be way harder! Because you don't know... Oh, God. And no one's like, maybe we should let you see the ceiling where stuff's gonna come down and crush you. No? Okay. Now I guess Robotnik looks the same. I don't think this bar covered up his face in the Genesis version. I think that's what was throwing me off. No, there's no pity rings normally in this. It's not, like, that hard. Oh. Well, it's usually not that hard. Okay. Did I get crushed as you went up? Did 
physics are my passion. No. Do I have to make the sound effects for this? Wow, it's just like the Genesis. What the hell is happening? Like, what's even killing me? I don't know. Do I just, like, never touch the bottom part? It's like you're on a master system. Oh, yeah. Everyone's always telling me I just sound exactly like PCM audio... Not PCM, um... Oh, God, what is that thing? Oh, maybe... Maybe it was the PCM channels on the master system, I don't remember. Or PSG, is that what I'm thinking of? Not PCM. God damn it. I don't know how you're supposed to see the ones on the top coming, unless you just jump around a bunch and just hope for the best. Yeah, also I'm pretty sure the hitboxes on the projectiles he shoots out are significantly bigger. Or they, like, home into you better. Know which ones are coming. Okay, well. Uh... I could just stand over here and just hope he always comes out of the rightmost one. Oh, you can get two hits off on him. Can't do that in the Genesis version. Okay, I take it back. This is now... easy, but not fun. The fact that no one thought, like, they should modify this fi- God damn it! I heard a graduate student was the first to get the COVID vaccine. Uh, is that an old article? Because that was not me. They haven't gotten back to me yet. Uh, one of my co-workers knows him now. Nice if they got back to me on that. 
Crash Demonology Student. Is that the article from like a month ago? Where he's like, oh, I don't feel worried about getting the vaccine because it doesn't have the virus on it or whatever. It's from today. Uh. See, I think if you're just putting your name in the press after getting the COVID vaccine, you're just making yourself a target for people who are going to come and just now track you down and steal your blood. Also, the background doesn't animate. Like, the little pink things are supposed to move to pretend to be, like, science equipment. Which is generally pink and checkerboarded. Science is a missing texture from Gary's mod? <laughs> That's fine, I'll do it again. And like, no one thought, oh, well maybe we should lower the ceiling, or raise the floor, or something, so you could see both the, t the top and the bottom, which are like, Necessary for- well, he's still smiling as he blows up. Wow. I just want to kill myself! Ah. Wow. Wow, this looks so good. Not at all jerky. You played this bad game! <laughs> just... Whenever this game is in motion, it just always looks like it's about to die. Remember, did the original Sonic credit or credits have the gameplay in it? Sonic is floating above the ground there, but okay. Oh yeah, yeah, this part is familiar. It did. Sorry, I haven't actually watched them in a while. It's me, Biggest Land. <laughs> Finding new ways to just be broken, even in the credits. God. Did that just have a- oh, no, never mind, that was supposed to disappear. I thought this was just running the credits. <laughs> oh, and even the auto-demo just gets stuck in those loops. Special thanks to Papa. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's not. Tried AI dungeon. Go for all the emeralds. Have you seen how bad the special stages are in this? Oh, I got the jukebox. 
Wow, my favorite thing about this game is the music. Now I can hear it whenever. Great. That's like immediately off key. Got item. What? That's just getting a one up. Why is it when you play the music, the background freaks out? I thought it was like a visualizer, but... No, it's just broken. But it's broken to the music? That's... really weird. Huh. Uh, might be the emulation. <laughs> Get the chows! Oh, that sounds... Good. Wow, what are these sounds? Do I have to unlock the sounds? What? Wait. Uh... I don't... Why are these here, then? Wow, I hope I gotta play all the... God, do you think you, if you get all the emeralds, it does it? Hey, you got all the emeralds, now you can play the crappy ring sound whenever you want. Doesn't have the spike glitch at least. That's a start. Why am I? Oh god, I don't know. You'll have to take that up with my parents. So everything in this game runs entirely too slowly, except for the special stages, which run entirely too fast. Yay. Actually, this isn't running as badly as I remember it running. Before I... Oh, God. Before I came into, like, the first special stage, and then within, like, five seconds, I somehow had the emerald, and I didn't even press anything, but okay. What is that noise? Well, it's like jarring, because it's significantly faster than the rest of it. It's fine. I need, like, a port of Sonic CD for the Game Boy Advance. That is already a slow and tedious game at points. And then I gotta have like the Game Boy Advance renditions of that Red Book audio. Why am I playing this again? 
No, my ring! Well, that's a game. It's one o'clock-ish. I was... Oh, man. Then I could play the really crappy port of Sonic Spinball to get this great Sonic taste out of my mouth. Also, I think the funniest thing about this game is just how long you have to sit here before it actually lets you play it, and you can't skip any of this. Yep. Yep. I know. This might be the worst title screen of any video game. Like, between the graphics and the music and the fact that Sega could have done significantly better. No, it's not a bootleg. This is a product that was sold for money. And if you want to emulate the feeling of falling perpetually into crappy ports of Genesis games, then, like, there you go. You got it. This sucks. I love options. Uh, uh. Nice and crisp. Mm. Speed. Fast? Is that even an option? Look at that. Oh, it's too fast. Yeah, Game Boy Advance Sonic Spinball. Surprise. Oh, God, the sound is so bad. Why do I hate myself so much? I don't know. Something about synapses. I don't know, I'm not a scientist. Sonic Spinball was not pretty good in the Genesis. In fact, Sonic Spinball was... never good. When I got this game as a kid, I was really hoping there was going to be a lot more of just Sonic running around, because the game starts with Sonic running around for all of, like, two seconds, and then you're just playing crappy pinball. You know, it's one of those things where you think, oh, well, maybe there's more to it, and then you play it a bit, and nope. This is all there is. It's my fault for buying a game that has pinball in the title. Uh, it has spinball in the title. And I know you can't spell spinball without pinball, but... Still. No, I never played the Metroid pinball game. Was that the one... That was the DS one, right? That came with the Rumble Pack? I remember there being some, like, forum... stuff... at some point. Because I think it said something about... Put the rumble pack in, something about inserting an option pack, and then people were thinking, like, oh, well, maybe that can be used for DS upgrades or whatever. But now I think it only was used for, like, the rumble pack that. I don't know if any other games use that. It might have just been that one. God, the Guitar Hero controller, it's right. Like, they could have ported Sonic Genesis to the DS. Like, it came out late 2006, the DS is already out for two years then. Oh, that's right, the RAM Pack! For 
forgot about that. God, I forgot they even had the Opera browser on the DS. Mine was free. I believe it was initially free when it first came out, and then at some point they made you pay for it. So... Joke's on you. Was it the opposite? I know I didn't buy it. It's a very farty pinball machine. Yeah, remember that? When they had those websites that were just... Like, these are... You know, Flash or Java games that run on the Wii version of this browser and sort of interface with, I was gonna say, the Joy-Con, the Wii Mote. I still find it's incredible that, like, the PSP came with Flash built in on the browser. Nice garbled splash graphic there. And now they're killing flashes here, so. Rest in peace. Nice and uh, I don't think I pulled that switch right. I don't think you're missing anything not playing- Oh, I did pull that switch. I don't think you're missing anything not playing the original Final Fantasy. Yeah, we call that the Sega Genesis. It's weird, because this game is playing significantly faster on the Game Boy Advance um, than it did on the Genesis. I did set it to fast mode, but it was doing that on normal as well. Uh, I had that Pepsi album that was already out. Quote unquote out. I mean, it's on YouTube. It's not like oh, yeah, this is like Yuzu Koshiro. Absolutely. In fact, I think he played all the instruments. It is sort of too bad they didn't try to port Streets of Rage to the Game Boy Advance. Just to see how bad it could have been. And I, I still can't believe they didn't put in a boss theme or anything. Or the 
sounds. This is probably one of the better uses of gems. I guess. I mean, it still sort of sounds like every other game that uses gems. But... What did I do? Oh, there's a target up there that's obscured by the white bar. Oh no, a thousand identical pieces are falling off this. Can they just make a version of that ring sound effect that doesn't, uh... Just clip. You don't know what gems is. It's a sound driver that Sega made in order to alleviate certain difficulties of programming music on the Sega Genesis, and there is a very good video about it. Uh... Here you go. If you have any interest in Sega Genesis slash Genesis music slash old game crap in general, good video to watch. Also, my favorite thing about this game is the music. Oh wait, there's not any. How did nobody recording this resist the temptation of just putting in, like, cricket chirping in the background. Well, like, that's always everyone's favorite part of pinball, right? Like, the part where there's no sound or feedback on anything, and it is wholly unsatisfying to smack the ball around. Right? No way to like see more of the screen somehow. Oh, I thought you said that guy's name was John Clowning. What? That isn't supposed to. Okay. It's Robotnik uh, turning up his chainsaw. Also, apparently all the tracks are level 1 music. That's the only song in this game. And the title theme. <laughs> I hate pinballs so much! than that. Nothing is more exhilarating than that two seconds of total action. <sighs> Great. 
great. Oh, well, that's a game. Uh... Man, I'm still hungry. I guess playing video games is not, like, food. What about Echo? Uh, it's bad. It's not a good port. And Echo is not a great game to begin with. I like the Star Fox games. I played 64, and that's kind of it. But I did play a lot of Star Fox 2 on the Super Nintendo Mini, which is really good, actually. Um, a very forward-thinking game, if not kind of difficult on harder difficulties. Because I think, like, in earlier versions of that game, and like, leaked prototypes, they had, um, like, your charge attack home in, and in the final game, it doesn't, unless you, like, collect a bunch of hidden things. Uh, and it makes it significantly harder for some of the, like, one-on-one -on -one dogfights. Also, the frame rate on that game is not great, but it's forgiven. Because, like, at the end of the day, the Super FX2 till, or, uh, still has to pipe everything through the Super Nintendo. Yeah, I think Command was generally based on um, Star Fox 2. So if you like Command, you might want to try Star Fox 2. Doing a real bad job of this. So is Star Fox Zero on the Wii U just bad? Or is it like misunderstood? Gameplay's decent, the story's horrendous. Is the story any good in... Or is the story ever any good in any Star Fox games? I mean... It's just... Okay, you're in space, and Andros is a big evil space monkey, and at the end, he's like a cube with his face on it, and you shoot him a bunch at the end. where the controls are weird as hell, and by the time you get used to it, you're at the end. Oh, so it's, um, that Kid Icarus game on the previous. Crap. Nailed it. Did not nail it. That's okay, I'm also bad at ghouls and ghosts, so it balances. Wow, what if I had a sandwich right now? Hmm... Yeah, what if? That'd be good. God, I love bread. in silly hypotheticals. Okay, I think I have at least managed to stop myself from going and getting, like, 
multiple bags of chips from 7-Eleven at midnight. Joke's on you, stream. You've unwittingly become part of my diet routine. Can't play Gaba Goobs and eat at the same time. Make some garlic bread. So, that's a good idea, but I'm missing a few things, notably the garlic and the bread. And is this a diet and exercise stream? But yeah, my past self would be very confused. I mean, you're not playing Puyo? You're sort of exercising? You're squishing ring between your thighs? Okay. Not the Tim I know. Much sweatier version. God, I was sitting around in bed earlier because I was tired and sore. And I was thinking, like, you know, I could play more Ring Fit. Damn it. I didn't, because I feel like I probably just hurt myself, but... There you go. Like, you gamify anything, and I will sit there and think, Oh, better do more of that. Implying Puyo doesn't get me sweaty. Uh, it gets my brain sweaty. All of that cerebral spinal fluid. Glistening. Oops! Well, that didn't work. I want Ring to be like, Wow, your cerebral spinal fluid is so shiny and beautiful! I mean, technically, it's the next day, so I could ring fit, but that's not how days work. If only the ring's voice were sexier. <laughs> no, I think it's actually better if he just has that goofy voice and then just says things in it all the time. How much do I have to pay the person who uh, does the ring fit voice to just like narrate a bunch of awkward pillow talk? Is there ring fit rule 34? God, I hope so. There's probably a bunch of the dragon and probably some of Allegra, who is the lady that does all the leg exercises, and her attack animation is just her, like... It just looks like she's squishing a bug under her shoe the whole time. So I'm sure that inspired a bunch of stuff. Does Ring thingy have a name? Uh, it's just called Ring. Unless it's, like, Midna or something, and it transforms into a human at the end. Also, spoilers. death by a big Amazonian woman. Well, Jeff Bezos did get divorced semi-recently, so he might have a chance to make his wife still free. Someone laugh. I thought that was funny. The joke is Amazon. It is kind of funny to just think, like... Everything we get is just from a company called Amazon, which... Like, it's gotta be based on, like, THE Amazon, right? Unless it's supposed to be, like, Amazon.com, and they just took out a couple letters. Does Amazon do anything for the Amazon? Uh, probably destroys it. 
apparently it started with books. Yeah, that's Amazon. The book retailer in the 90s. There's a lot of Drago porn, but not the ring dude. Well, I figured that much. You can actually get a nice catch on this. The two naked knights judging me in the corner. Oh, those are just my clones. I guess it is sort of weird that your clones sitting there, your extra lives, don't have any clothes on. These are the extra Arthurs we have still in the womb. Naked and vulnerable. watched a bunch of gameplay of this and then you played it if you would kind of know what you have to do and if it would just be kind of easy at that point. I don't really know how much technical skill is really involved. Probably not much if I'm doing it. What's a horrible weapon sound effect? This one? Do you mean, do you mean this noise? But let me, let me check, let me, here, I'll make it louder. This one? Is this the one you don't like? I made it louder so you could hear it better and let me know. Oh, the previous one, okay then. Never mind, sorry to bother you. Wow, that guy is still there. That little yellow head guy just floating around. Great. Big plate and nachos. Mm. What do we have like nacho fit adventure? They have nachos at 7 Eleven. Okay. No. Those are not nachos. It's like. I'm craving some nachos. I think I'll go to the bowling alley. Like, it's not how this works. Yeah, you had to spell it as not chose. No, I want more stuff than just cheese and chips. collection on Steam during the sale. Those are just the Mega Man Zero games, right? Did they update or upgrade that at all? Or is it just like your Game Boy Advance port and that's kind of it? Like, do you at least have a viewer or a bigger viewport or something? Or is it just like running a Game Boy emulator? Ugh. Nope, 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 don't hit me. Nice. <laughs> and this guy didn't spawn in. Mid-level saving and better sprites. Did they make Zero not look really dorky anymore? Z 
ZX, the one where he has the diaper? What? What, is that like if oil leaks out, or like, why would... It's a robot. Why did you program me not to be potty trained? Well, the little green things didn't spawn, so that's good. Oh, no, nope, never mind. I thought that was gonna be that thing, but it's not. You play as a girl Zero in ZX. Zero's already a girl. Right? God, I... Googled something about Mega Man Zero at some point, and let's see, uh, where is it? Under the Google people also ask section, is Mega Man Zero a girl? Zero's a guy. Some people think he's a girl because of his long hair. Zero is a guy, even though he has long hair. He's not a girl. By the way, he, he does he like Iris or Iris like him? If he was a guy, that would be gay, period, exclamation point. 2004. You're right, that would be gay. I guess. Why are there so many bone dragons? Go away. Uh, no, it's actually a Game Boy Advance game. The DS was not out when that forum post was made. Doing great. I think I'd be better at this part by now, but I'm really not. Man, you know what would be really good, actually? I already said a sandwich, but I've decided what kind. A Cuban sandwich. Oh, I haven't had one in so long. When I was in college, did I ever expect the pandemic to be the first thing awaiting my graduation? Uh, I'm in graduate school, also no. I have no idea if anyone is going to be available to hire me at this point, if the world is still shut down. But that's okay. Because I can just die. Did I ever try the Cuban trips from Aldi? Eh, chips. I think I popped into an Aldi once for like a heard of this, but let me actually see what it's like kind of visit, and I didn't buy anything. Sounds like lunch, or lunch has been decided. Okay. Uh, 
I don't even know if I can get a good Cuban sandwich in Baltimore. I think I did at one point. This is years ago, though. They might not even be in business anymore. Ugh. Flawless. Get sick and go into your pension at 35. If I'm mentally sick, does that count? That guy that thought he got coronavirus. I don't know if he's been in the chat today. Okay, these only start coming at you when you go into the second step. Yay! That was actually really easy. He's going that way. Nice catch. I didn't do it. I've done well so far. But I won't be able to defeat Lucifer who's behind the door. Go back to the village and get the magic power from the goddess of battle. Arthur, put on your magic armor and open the magic box. <laughs> Should have been my high school yearbook quote. And then you do the second playthrough, which is exactly the same as the first, except that one bird is already flying at you from the beginning for some reason, and other than that, it's identical. Are they telling you that now and not at the start? That's a good question. I don't think the game necessarily even cares if you have... Like, if you've done the second playthrough, I think it's just checking to see if you have that weapon. Because if you do the second loop and don't get the weapon it wants you to do, it just says the same thing and it's just like the first loop. So, like, if it spawned somehow, or you cheated it into the game, you could probably just finish it that first go and not have to do it again. It increases the spawn rate. Oh, it's not boss music. No, it doesn't. Um, the spawn rate is only increasing, um, like, the longer you go without dying. 
So if there are more enemies popping in, that's just because I haven't died in a little bit. I think it's like after two levels, without dying, they start spawning in more. But I'm not sure on that. Uh, it's been a while since the main channel stream, sorry. I am a shockingly dysfunctional human being, it turns out. I don't have to apologize. I mean, I kind of have to, but... Wow, okay. Clippy is a gay icon, so I don't even know how you could possibly think that it's somehow not having enough representation with my emotes. Oops. Put it on a flag. I mean, if you just go into, like, Google and type in Gay Clippy, I'm sure it'll be very normal. Uh, these are all the same images I've seen. Weird, like, Mpreg Clippy. Oh, here you go. Here's... Pride Clippy. Apparently. Are these stickers? Oh, no. They're not. They're just JPEGs. Sorry, they're PNGs because there's transparency. Ed, Ed. Oh, wait. <sighs> well, it's 1.40. I don't know what to do. Wish I were tired. Still hungry for garbage snacks. Play SOS. No, stop trying to solve my problems. If I say, like, I am bored and hungry, you're supposed to seem really apologetic. Like, oh my god, you poor thing. have salt. That's food. Right? Food adjacent. Somebody good were playing this. What would they do? Oops. Uh, 
Yeah, you're right. I I could just start eating additional body parts that I have that are non-essential. Let's see, I got a bottle of Excedrin here. Uh, there are no nutrition facts on it. <laughs> Not as if there would be, but... Going to. Probably already had, like. I don't know. A thousand calories. A thousand sounds like a big number. Uh, this is Panel Upon slash Tetris Attack slash Puzzle League slash maybe something else? I think in the West they've been pretty consistently calling it Puzzle League, but I'm not entirely sure. Well, also, like, aside from the fact when it was called Tetris Attack. So, never mind, actually. at all one word. Yes. Uh, it is. It's like uh, Dr. Strangelove, so we all just kind of call it Paneled Upon, but it's actually, you know, Paneled Upon slash Tetris Attack slash Puzzle League slash whatever else. How I learned to stop worrying and love the chain or whatever. Love the matching. Too bad it's not Puyo, then I could have loved the beans. At this point, you can type anything into Google and have it come up with the right result. If I ask it why I'm so sad, is it gonna be like, ah, yes, I got it. Is that the problem? I just have to ask Google. Dear Google, why am I sad? Love, Tim. What are you trying to make me more sad? Great! I'm unhappy and my search results suck. Mm. 
video games. How's that Twitch going? People still streaming? That fad end yet? Facebook Live is a thing. Whatever happened to like owned 3D? Like they shut down and then turned into Hitbox and whatever, but like, what happened to the people involved? Also, God, remember when there was just like, no, this is our streaming website specifically for esports. Always seemed very goofy. Yeah, it had its moments, not many. Uh, oops. Yeah, the Puyo place. <laughs> God. Oh, God damn it! I didn't even notice that side. Oops. So much for that one credit playthrough. Uh... God, I don't know. Now what? Oh, it's like two in the morning. No video games that are actually good. How about I stay hydrated? Oh, my legs are still sore. Should get a yoga mat for ring fit. Uh, I don't know if I've ever knowingly played a roguelike. Man, also I have like 
somehow scuffed up my ankle. Like the right next to the little bone that sticks out on the outside, I think when I was doing like some sort of ring fit exercise on the floor. I don't remember. <sighs> um God intelligent cube. I was thinking about that recently. Get me some melatonin. That's my brain age. I just want to play like brain age and then have it be like, oh wow, you are already a brain child and you don't have to do any more exercise or whatever. Uh, your brain is so young, it is still prenatal. Okay, sleeping pills consumed. <laughs> They're all bad. I guess I could play this. I don't know. It will not have been the worst version of Sonic 1 I played today. I love normal Sonic that- oh no! The Sonic Rush is okay. Uh, oops, sorry. It's like dying to the first Goomba in Mario. Like, Sonic Rush is fine. The music's good. It has too many bottomless pits. The level design's kinda stupid. Also, it has too many bits that are like... Hey, go in this room, and then fight a bunch of enemies, and then the door opens. Oh no, the rings are evil, and they take rings away from you! Oh crap. Uh-oh. As long as that's still there. If that weren't there, you could not complete the level. This evil Sonic is just waiting for you there. I don't think Sonic Rivals was supposed to be good. I think Rush is probably a better game. Cause Sonic Rush at least tries to be like classic Sonic. Sonic Rivals just is... Oh no, it's been 12 and a half seconds. Oh no, Sonic is evil and he's making the clock read things incorrectly. Oh, there's no music. Oh god, hello. Oh no! Still have speed shoes on. You shouldn't have come here. You're right, I shouldn't have come into that bottomless pit. What is that? Fraction of a second, not Sonic.
Alright, Chad, is this a more epic horror game than Five Nights at Freddy's? Be sure to leave your comment below and hit that bell. Oh, I'm not gonna get enough time to get that thing. Hi. Should've just made it say different things, like, What's up? The doozies! Oh wait, why did I go all the way over there to try to get that thing? There's one right there. You only have one Sonic left. Yeah, so when you get a game over, as it's going through the intro loading screens... Um... Sometimes it has a jump scare, but not all the time. But usually, I think, when you have the game over. Is this technically beatable? Um... Like, technically... Um... I think they just changed this specific mechanic and didn't confirm that anything else is, like, finishable long-term. So, like, at a certain point, it's just not going to be possible to complete stuff because you're not going to get enough boxes to break to make the evil place go away. That's a really bad sentence. <laughs> game over, game over, game over, game over! Also, FYI, there's probably a jump scare coming up. It's also just going to be Sonic with the red eyes. You have been warned. Uh... Oh, they've removed the level select. Makes the sound. How do I? Oh. Oh. Okay, so you press A and start on the second option, and then it is not looking great. Where's the final zone? Oh boy! Oh boy! This is gonna be... Great. I'm gonna say no, this is not beatable. I take it back. <laughs> Wait, you know it is beatable! <laughs> it just screws up the palette. Oh no, wait a minute! Evil Sonic's gonna come in! Wait, you can already see his hand in the corner. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, it really is the final zone, isn't it? You know, no, this would be beatable. This is beatable with the debug mode cheat, because if you have to, you can spawn in, um, the monitors to get the guy out, I think. Although I don't know if it's like the other ones where once you... No, I'm thinking of the signposts where like once you trip it, then you only put down the already hit version. Ah. What's the debug mode sheet for Sonic 1? Hmm. Hit 
is... Wow, I love how the Sonic.fandom wiki has an article for debug mode, but it doesn't tell you how to get into debug mode. Oh wait, no it does. In the title screen, press up C, down C, left C, right C, the room chime, okay. Up C, down C, left C, right C, and then A. go. Oh, I wonder how Evil Sonic is gonna respond to uh, me being in debug mode. Oh. Oh wait, he's still coming? I'm coming for your computer! Oh my god, did you ever read that? Hang on. Maybe one of my very favorite Onion articles. Or click hole things. I'm coming to touch your computer. Hello, I'm on my way to your home. Very slowly, but I will get there. I will arrive at your home, then I will touch your computer. <laughs> Do not try to stop me. If you try to stop me, I will still touch your computer. Don't worry, I will not harm your files. I will not press hard on the important keys like shift or num lock. I will only touch the outside of your computer. My touch is light, my hand is wet, but not too wet for a computer. My hand is warm. If you touch my hand, I will scream. If I scream, it is fine. That's, uh... It's a story of what's going on right now. Does this kill me? It does. Wait, but does it just keep going? Anyway! <laughs> Now that that's over with. Now we can get back to... Actually, let me put one of those down. Boop. Oh, that didn't... That didn't actually... Huh. Oh, that's right, A and start is... Down, up C, down C, left C, right C. A, start. Well, now it's broken. Do you think when it's doing the credit cutscene, it would switch into Evil Sonic? Robotnik's there. Oh wait, now I can just find out where he is. Oh, no, just kidding. He's not there. At least we get this great me- oh, wait. What's that? Oh, that's one of those bomb enemies. Aw, oh, nice, free button. 
now it's fun. Wait, I thought you could escape that with debug mode. Oh, whatever. Let's just try to beat it. You got me, Robotnik. It's true. Touch my button! Okay, anyway. <laughs> Real atmospheric sound. Twelve-year-olds probably were. I think that's pretty much what inspired this. Some weird, like, image of Sonic with bloody eyes that just says I am God underneath because, you know, that's really scary. Like, it's still Sonic the Hedgehog with this big, dumb, goofy face and one giant eye. It's just bloody this time. Oop, no. Pick the one I'm next to! Sonic doesn't bleed. Oh god, you're right. It's me, Sonic the Hedgehog. The world's fastest bloodless hedgehog. God damn it, man! Pick one of the ones I'm next to! Did Shadow have any blood in him? Uh. Was there blood in Shadow the Hedgehog? Was that like T for Teen? T for Tweens? Or was it like E10 plus? Did I win? That was the last one. Poof. There's no explosions. No animals. Uh. Anyway. <laughs> I'm curious to see if it switches into it at any point during these cutscenes. I guess it probably won't. I don't think any of them run for 12 and a half seconds. You, hun, you too! Get that signpost! No! God, remember the 
demo in... Wait a minute! Oh, did that demo in the Genesis ver- or the Game Boy Advance version credits just... Like, start in the beginning of the levels every time? Instead of... I don't know. Can't remember. credits are going to be more screwed up than this. Did they even have credits for the porting team in the Game Boy Advance version? I feel like it's all the same people. That's what I also think when I look at the screen. Like, someone has to try again. God, it's like when you failed one of those acid tests for, like, web browser compliance. Uh, oh, that's right. This just does this until you hit reset. Oh, no, it doesn't. I did it. Bet this is gonna be the most fun experience I could have in so oh Oh that's actually very unpleasant. It's like an earthbound background. Oh, there we go. Oh. Uh. Sonic, don't swim in the Kool-Aid! No! Why? Just about to hit him. <laughs> what? Okay. Did not know that was there. Oh. <sighs> I guess this is my life now. Just kidding! Oh wait, no, the debug mode cheat isn't working! I thought I could just hit B and then I would warp out and no. Just kidding! Now there's evil Sonic there. Oh. Okay, bye. Oh, just kidding. Wait, are there the, um... capsules in here? just goes back to lying on the floor. <laughs> Great. No, I want to go back in my fish box. Sonic Spinball.
Well, the random red flashing is very pleasant. Oh, that's right, that's a reset, it's not advanced to the level. But then when you reset like that, the thing doesn't work. Now none of the buttons work, actually. Ow. And I still have a like, weird rug burn on my ankles. And also like a bunch of bruises everywhere, Jesus. Let's play a game. How many bruises are on my leg? One, two, three, four, five, five and one. One, two, three, I think just three on that one. Then I have like a gigantic one on my forearm. And like one on the side of my torso. I don't know. I don't know what is happening with any of that. I am just horrifically uncoordinated, and I think I just bump into everything. Also, Ring is beating me up in my sleep. Let's go! Choose Super Mario Go! Choose a player! <laughs> I'm only going to be Toad because he has the most obnoxious digging sound. Great. I take it back, I don't want to play this. God, this is just getting cluttered up with games that I don't like. Like this Sonic the Hedgehog thing? I don't know what that's about. Uh, could play that hot Game Boy port of Ghouls and Ghosts. When smashing or uh, angry bus. Uh, I don't think I have that on here. Angry bus. Is there a Game Boy Advance port of Cave Story? I doubt it, but we could find out. Cave Story GBA. Official homebrew port. I'm sure most of you have already heard, but I've been working on porting Cave Story to the Game Boy Advance. Here's a small demo here. Problem loading page. This is from a live stream or a live journal page from 2006. The person's mood is excited and honored. Um. Top response is, you, sir, win my internet. Wow, this is a period piece. Uh, All of my upvotes, my good sir. Well, this is not downloading. Now it is. Your download's in progress. It's not actually, that's the thing. You say it is, but... Okay. I don't think it works. Cave story. We have a Genesis version. DSiWare. Mm. Nope. 
does not seem like they have it. You can get a version for your GPX-2, because of course you could. Oh well. I have not played Hypno Space Outlaw. Commodore 64 music. Also, this one I think controls better? Uh, actually, maybe not. I feel like you still get stuck in a crouch too easily. Yeah, the diagonals on this game have always been weird. I bet he respawned off screen, didn't he? Oh, he didn't. <laughs> Great. That's enough of that. I already played pinball and I hated it. I mean, granted, it's like Sonic Spinball, which is not a good game, but... Hmm... I could open the mail on stream. I could be like... Very obnoxious ASMR. Ah! Is this soothing? Maybe it's more soothing on this side. Or this side. <laughs> Sorry. Give me my new credit card, because my old one expired. Everyday purchases just got even easier. Wow. Oh, God. They have a picture of avocado toast on that thing. That really speaks to me as a millennial. Actually, avocado toast is pretty good. Activate your card now. I will. Activate and sign your card before you use it. Have you ever had, like, somebody actually say, Oh, sorry, you have to sign your credit card before we'll accept it? Like, I have, and it's the weirdest thing. Like, okay, great. I, I scribbled some ink on the back of this thing. Will you take it now? Like, it doesn't matter. It works regardless. I always saw the signature in the back, and I don't know if this is accurate, but to me, like, the fact that you signed it was like signing an IOU every time. Like, yes, you will get the money, my signature is on here, and everything that I swipe this card with will also bear my signature. No, I haven't gotten the P.O. Box back, I don't know if I'm gonna bother, it's expensive. And I also don't stream. Ever. Gob and goobs. Super gob and goobs. Every time I think about playing Super Ghouls and Ghosts, I always remember, like, oh, you could do that auto scrolling water level again. And then I think, oh, I don't want to play this anymore. There's a Cave Story GBA proof of concept. I was on the Cave Story page and I didn't see it. I 
if it's not the full game, whatever. I'll take a look. Since I get frustrated with this, that, you know, will probably happen in a matter of minutes. Okay, so where's that cave story download? Uh. Oh, oh, I was on a different. No, I was on this page. Where does it say that? Oh! I was control effing for Game Boy. It's under GBA. That's why I did not see it. And then Firefox is like, what if I open this GBA file for you in the browser? And it also doesn't work. Yay. Oh. Uh, I don't think I ever got that last package, in all honesty. Well, that's the level. There's no enemies. Oh, you can have different weapons. Oh, they're all the same. <laughs> they're just... Cosmetics. Wow, that's exciting. Wow. Oh, is there a menu? No, it's just this outer wall. Yeah, I mean, it runs okay, but there's no real game logic. Well, there's a little bit of game logic in this. Like, graphically, it's spot on, but there's, like, no enemy AI or sprites or sound. Uh, which is too bad, because this is actually a bit with very good music. I wonder if you can go back to the other areas, or if they just don't connect. I can go see if I could say... Oh, no, I don't have the jetpack. I can't go save the little man. Uh, we... Oh. Hmm... <laughs> and to the surprise of literally nobody, this doesn't go anywhere. Final cave. Oh, oh, oh. I was thinking this was the hell area. <laughs> this is really depressing without the music. Or literally anything. It's like a birthday party and nobody comes over. It's got like all the spots for people, but there's no one there. Uh, that's Puyo. It's always an option. No story, just cave. I have parties and birthdays. Uh, no, I don't have either of those things anymore. When are you too old to have a birthday party at like a bowling alley? 
mean, I guess people still do that. Mm, I already screwed this up. They come back in your style, or back in style in your 40s. Oh, uh, well, if I make it that far, you're all invited! COVID alleys. I mean, I'll only go there if they have cosmic bowling. Like, if you're not turning on the UV lights and making my bowling shoes look neon purple, then I don't even want to hear it. Mm, no, it won't work. Uh, that goes there, that goes... Mm. Is there even any way to pull this out? I don't think there is. I think I screwed this. Yes, I did. Mm, yeah. yeah. Yes. Mm. I don't even... Yeah, this is not gonna happen. They all have AIDS PSAs in them. But if you're playing Puyo, you are not getting AIDS. Well, in most cases, probably. if you're getting, like, a bad blood transfusion. Birthday was last Sunday. Wow. You didn't even invite me to your bowling... Oops. Bowling alley. How dare you. Yeah, but this is the... SNES version. And also, it's like that in the Genesis version. Uh, I gotta get a green. Oh, actually, that's perfect. No, it's not, because that's... Ah, oh, those yellows were in the way. I thought it was gonna be a thing, but it was not. Oh wait, you actually had a birthday party at a bowling alley? I thought you were just joking. Did you have the bumpers up? God, the last time I went bowling, I twisted my ankle and then scored like a 20 which I had been already scoring earlier, so it wasn't like I was injured and doing a worse job. Like, no, I'm just in pain and I suck. It's like, horrifyingly bad. Uh... Well, I might have gotten, like, a 30. Maybe a 40. But it was pretty bad. I remembered as a kid, I thought I was, like, vaguely decent at bowling, but I guess I never actually was? I don't know. A lot of gutter balls. <laughs> like, turns out, actually, just getting the thing to hit, or go down to the end is, uh, harder than you'd think. Wow, I am not doing great at this either. Just like whiff in every game I'm playing right now. Yeah, like as a kid I got about a hundred every time, like 90-ish. And as an adult, I... am not able to do anything. several perfect games. Yeah, well, I've done that on Wii Sports. Oops. 
God, I'm not playing like any of this. Uh, correctly. Bold about a 40. Yeah, that sounds about right. Just play ring fit. When do they add like a bowling exercise into ring fit? I guess they have that, like, oh god, like the arm hinge, not hinge pose, but like the ab thing, I forget what it's called, where you hold your arm out and whatever. <laughs> can, can you identify the exercise based on that? You hold your arm out and whatever. Ah, I love that one. and have it not work. You know what, I just got the sudden urge to play America's Army, the old one, but only the SF Hospital map. So I can just launch grenades at people on the other side of the map at spawn. Yeah, there's a US Army esports team now, because... I should have just tried to make America's Army, what is it, Proving Grounds, an esports game? I mean, it's effectively already Counter Strike. Do they have to be in uniform when they're playing games? Nah, nah oh, that's too bad. I mean, I'm assuming, or assuming it's all just to get people interested in recruiting or something. Like the America's Army's game, or America... America's Army, even, was supposed to have done. I vaguely remember there being something about America's Army back then where it's like, you get some sort of, like, actual army credit class, class credit thing doing the training missions and whatever else, but I don't know if that's true. I looked it up at some point and could not find anything about it, so I may have had that all happen in a fever dream. I'm assuming the America's Army... No, not... That's right, it's not even America's Army esports team. The U.S. Army esports team just sponsors players. Like, I'm assuming they're not all enlisted soldiers or something. It might be. I don't know. In the same way that, like... Um... The military funds a lot of scientific research that isn't even necessarily, you know, war-related. Or at least not directly. this, unfortunately. Mm. 
God, it's like 3 in the morning and I'm not tired at all. This sucks. No! I have to cover my... No, I need those greens uncovered. No. Uh, tomorrow, I'll ring fit again. Maybe one day I'll be fit. 